Hey, beautiful people. Ryan Hamer here again. I want to talk to you about uh, men's emotions and feelings and situations that perhaps don't go so well. Men don't always talk about their feelings. Uh, men like to bottle them up and internalize them. And, you know, there are lots of things that a man could be going through in the midst of internal turmoil. Uh, if there's a breakup, if there's a divorce, if they've lost someone or if they've lost something or they're just trying to deal with it and move forward, it's extremely hard for a man to reconcile that the situation has changed. You know, we like to be in control of situations and when a situation escapes our firm grasp, there are issues, challenges. And I was speaking with someone about this and she couldn't understand why her ex-man was in this state that he was in because uh, they were still good friends after their breakup but he he took it badly and he took it really hard problem is she couldn't understand and I explained to her you know there are different stages that one goes through and you know first of course we always I joke and say denial is not just a river in Egypt, you know, people actually, they go through denial. They can't believe that it's ended. They can't believe that they ended it. They can't believe the other person ended it. They just can't believe that the relationship isn't functioning anymore. There, there's no, no blood pumping, no blood pumping up those veins. And, you know, the brain is dead to the fact that there's no activity in, in, in that romantic realm pain. Uh, men feel the pain. And you know, there's always a joke about how men are big babies. And when a man gets a cold, it becomes a man cold. And it's 20 times worse than it would ever be or could ever be. Uh, and a woman would just sort of uh, call it breakfast. <laughs> if a man was to go into labor, it would be 100 times as worse than whatever a woman would be going through. And let's assume all of that is is uh, the status quo. Like, let's assume it's right. Let's assume it's all true. Breakups for men, relationships for men are no different when they end or when they deteriorate or as they're, you know, ending. It's no different. We still feel the pain. Like, there's so many different things that people don't understand. I, I want to say people, but like, Men don't want to admit that they're in pain. They don't want to admit that they're hurting. Uh, they don't even want to admit to their friends. They don't want to, want to admit to their boys that, you know what, I'm going through this. Like, there are some that would. Like, I'm the kind of person I would say, yeah, you know what, she really hurt me. She, she has me feeling uh, a certain type of way. Um, my blood, after, after your blood starts, after your blood finishes boiling, it's not sweet anymore. Your blood becomes bitter. Sometimes people just become bitter. You know, the pain, the rejection, and, and they feel the rejection of that other person. Or they had to reject that other person. And it's painful and it hurts them for having to do that. Uh, also, uh, defeat. You know, you feel defeated. You feel that you put in your time, you put in your effort, and for whatever reason, the relationship didn't work. You feel that, you know, that person had to run off and cheat on you that person kicked you out of their house or that person decided to pick up and leave or you decided to pick up and leave and you feel defeated that things didn't work out because you put in your effort you put in your time you put in your love and you thought that you were going to be on that journey for the rest of your life or you thought you were going to be on that journey for a long time you certainly didn't think that you were going to be alone and you know you feel like a sense of pride. The pride is gone. Like you feel like you don't want to tell anybody that things are going wrong. You don't want to tell anybody. You didn't tell anybody when things were going wrong. And you certainly don't want to tell people that things have ended just because of your pride. And I'm talking about, you know, as a man, you carry a certain amount of pride with you. And of course, we do this. We will try and angle things to put us in a certain light. Like, as a man, you're going to try and angle yourself to make it seem like you did the best that you could, the most that you could, and 
the brunt of the weight of responsibility for why things didn't work out is on her end. That's, you know, where the pride thing comes into to play. Uh, very seldom is it always, you know, where a man will move, uh, you know, the, the, the leverage of the weight into the middle of the fulcrum so that it's even split. It's an even split. That doesn't always happen that way. And that's pride. It most certainly always will be pride. Uh, we also, you know, there's a, there's the social, there's the social aspect of it, right? Uh, men will be afraid of the social ridicule, especially if they were at fault, especially if they were bragging about how beautiful and wonderful their relationship is, which is another reason why a lot of people tend to uh, follow the old adage of, you know, don't broad broadcast it out on online. Like, we're so great, we're so this, we're so that. Or, oh yeah, my, my, my uh, partner, my spouse, my, my love is uh, perfectly understanding and all that good stuff. Because what happens when things fall apart? You know, people will throw stuff back at you and say, well, remember when you said this about him or remember when you said that about her? You know, people seldom forget that sort of thing. And, you know, a man's pride is a, is a very fragile helium-filled balloon on the cactus that is life. So that's another thing that comes into play. And no man wants to feel defeated. But these are all different emotions. These are all different things that, that, that go into why a man reacts and behaves a little differently after, during, or before a breakup. Men don't want to admit fault. They really don't. Even if they are at fault, nobody ever wants to admit it. Uh, men don't want to admit pain. They don't want to admit that they're in in uh, turmoil so they they retreat to the basement in their mind and in their heart and you know they're listening to slow jams and all that stuff and, and they're crying and, and stuffing their face with with uh, cake or whatever it is you know we feel it too there's a lot of stuff that we go through that's similar to to what some women go through during a breakup but I, I don't want people out there to think that it's easy. Men play it off as if it's so easy. There's a lot going on, a lot that's unexpressed, and a lot that's manifest in different ways. You know, we say things differently. Because at the end of the day, men and women love differently. They also mourn and heal differently. Some people will run into the arms of an, another, another partner right away to help uh, smooth over the pain or to replace the pain with someone else's but not realizing they might cause pain for someone else. Some run to the bottle and some just completely cut everybody off. They don't want to have anything to do with the friends or you know extensions of the friends and family members and all that stuff. They just clean break, captain cut off or whatever, you know, and that's not necessarily healthy either because you're not truly actually dealing with it. But at any rate, I just wanted to uh, share. And please feel free to share this with someone who you think needs to hear it. And drop an opinion. Drop a line. Drop a comment. Have a good one. Thanks for watching.